So um, I would like to say that this is an opportunity for Serbia, this uh, study, to lead the way to new designs of transportation systems in the Balkan region. Let me explain why. In this new decade, we are seeing two different things that are happening that are impacting the way that we think about transportation. One, the world's population is getting pretty close to gender parity. And second, the world's population now concentrated more in cities than in the rural areas, which is pretty unique of this century. Both elements are pulling us to rethink mobility as we know it, with safety and the design of public spaces at the center. Most of all, these two things are challenging the traditional mentality about transport user needs. So men and women use transportation system in a different ways, and we need to understand these differences to inform policies and operations as we move forward. In this context, Serbia's initiative to launch a study in five cities to understand transportation from a gender perspective is quite remarkable. In fact, it's the first initiative that we have heard in the Balkans. By starting this conversation, Serbia, along with several countries in Europe, show their understanding that transportation is not gender neutral. Travel patterns, frequency of travels, distance, and type of trips vary significantly between men and women. The decision taken a year ago by Deputy Prime Minister to look into these factors is a major step forward. This study will support innovation and, we hope, the modernization of mobility systems in the cities of Serbia.